After 12 years in opposition, the people of New South Wales have voted for a fresh start. <laughs> Moments ago, I got a phone call from the Premier of New South Wales, Dominic Perrottet, congratulating New South Wales Labor on its victory here tonight. And I would like to say thank you to the Premier for his service on behalf of the people of New South Wales. It's undeniably the case that this election campaign, perhaps uniquely, was a model of respect and civility. And neither party took the low road, neither political party took the low blow. And I think it can be a model for the way democracy is done right across this country. Now, I can't say, I can't say that every election campaign in the future will be conducted the same way. But from now on, no one will be able to say that it can't be. Yeah. And I'm proud to say today the people of New South Wales voted for the removal of the unfair wages cap in New South Wales. Yeah. Friends, they voted for our nurses, our teachers. They voted for our paramedics and police. And there was a basic, a basic acknowledgement at the end of the day that during the COVID emergency, the people of New South Wales that work in our hospitals and our schools in our emergency departments put themselves second and the public first and put their own safety and health to one side to look after the people of New South Wales. So New South Wales Labor pledges to look after the people who looked after us. It's undeniably the case that today's election was also a decisive vote against privatisation. to retain Sydney water and essential energy in New South Wales government hands, to put it into the constitution and to never sell it and to stop all future governments selling the assets that we need to live, thrive and survive in New South Wales. We know that the challenges are huge, we know the responsibilities are awesome, but New South Wales Labor is back and ready to govern in this great state. Thank you so much.